Okay, let's go ahead and take a look now at uh, ALP Connect for Android. Uh, we'll go ahead and fire it up. Oops. Do that, pulls up, and we'll connect to our Bluetooth module here. And it is up and running. So pretty simple there. So now you'll see uh, when we get shot. Oh, let's trigger my jammer. There we go. Pro Laser 3, ahead. So you can see we've got a pretty long alert there. Uh, there is basically the phone that goes off, and there's also the uh, the LED, which in my car I have installed uh, right there in my dash. We'll go ahead and uh, shoot it again. Pro Laser 3, ahead. That LED actually lets me know how long I'm being shot for. If I get shot from the rear, that LED will go yellow, and then on the screen it'll actually show uh, that I'm getting shot from behind. Pro Laser 3, behind. There you go. Now one cool thing that I really like about uh, Android is the way it handles backgrounding apps. Uh, so let me show you what I mean. If I've got the other, if, if, if I've got the app uh, backgrounded like this, and let's say, um, so as you guys know, Yavi 1 is really cool. It does this uh, overlay, right? So if you get an alert like that, it'll actually pop up in the foreground. Um, ALP Connect uh, can also do something really similar. When it gets an alert, Pro Laser 3, ahead. it actually pops up the app for you immediately. So that's really slick. If you're running Waze, if you're running anything else in the foreground, um, at any time when you get an alert, uh, not only will the phone begin audibly alerting, but uh, it'll actually go ahead and bring up the app so that you can JTK. Uh, the way the JTK works with the app, see if I can do it fast enough, you just tap the screen there and it goes into uh, receive mode only. So now you can see I can shoot, if I zoom out a little bit, you'll see that red LED. If I stop it goes away, if I shoot some more it comes back and it's in receive mode. If I stop shooting, uh, it'll quit doing that. And then a couple seconds later, you'll see it'll go ahead and uh, rearm. It all turns back to blue, which lets me know I'm in jamming mode. And then uh, I've got my external LED set to go dark like that. And so now we're back in business. So pretty simple and straightforward there uh, with Android, and I quite like it. So uh, let's go ahead and switch now over to Let's turn this guy off. We're gonna go ahead now and uh, take a look at iOS and see how that works. So, let's go ahead and fire this up. Connect here. And uh, my Bluetooth module, while that's connecting, um, I've actually got it uh, down there. You can see it's the guy in blue. Uh, I know this is a little bit of a mess of cables. I've got it just kind of temporarily there for the sake of testing. Uh, I normally run the Hi-Fi module, but I've just kind of got it laying right there. And I apologize for the mess, I know it's a little, dirty right now this time of year but anyways so here we go here is the uh, iPhone version and oh actually let's switch this real quick I want it um... laser patrol ahead okay so I've got the audio alerts currently set to come from my phone and I can get them to play through my car's stereo as well and I'll show you that in just a moment but let's take a look first at how uh, the iPhone version will alert so we'll go ahead and trigger it Pro laser 3 ahead Pretty simple, and you do the same thing with tap on the screen to. Or, well, too slow. You do have to be pretty quick about it. Let's do that. Pro laser. Tap one handed, and you can see it's in uh, receive mode. So, pretty simple and straightforward there. Um, backgrounding on iOS is a little bit different than on Android, so let's take a look at how that works. So, we'll go ahead and background the app, and you can have something running in the foreground like Waze or, you know, whatever. So, let's just do this for now. Uh, when I get an alert on iPhone, check this out. Three, ahead. I get the alert like this. Uh, so it'll go ahead and play the audio in the background, which is really nice, and I get that little pop-up. Uh, you'll notice it doesn't actually I switch... For nine minutes to exit 13. Uh, West Lake Boulevard, South. Okay. So you'll notice that it doesn't actually bring up the app the way it does in Android. It just uh, brings up that pop-up. So uh, let's go ahead and do it again. Pro Laser 3, ahead. There we go. 
So you'll see I can do that, and then I can um, press that here. So uh, there is an extra step that's required in the heat of the moment. In order to JTK, you have to first press that banner, and you have to wait for the app, and then you have to tap the screen in order to kill your jammers. Um, there is a second way of actually presenting alerts. Uh, oh, notifications. Let's go down to, oops, not Escort Live, uh, ALP Connect. So instead of the banner, I can actually do the uh, pop-up alert. Or, oops, sorry. So you'll see uh, when I get shot currently, <coughs> pops up that window. <coughs> It'll announce Pro Laser 3. Quick. And I'm too slow, so it's already stopped shooting, so I can't actually kill it. Little funky thing there, but you'll hear it'll announce the gun in the background. Uh, it won't display visually what it is until I actually press that uh, view button. If I mistakenly press the wrong button, Pro Laser 3, and I press close instead of view, um, I actually have no way of... Uh, <coughs> sorry. <clears throat> I actually have no way of killing my jammers, which, in the heat of the moment, if you're driving and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting shot, and you, bro, I just try to mash the screen, you know, that could possibly be an issue, because then you're like, oh man, I've got to go find the app, I've got to... You know, scroll over to the screen, I gotta bring it up, I gotta tap the screen. So there's a few more steps that's involved. And uh, when you're getting shot, I like everything being as simple and as even as automated as possible. So you could potentially consider doing the, uh, you know, four second timer or whatever. So as soon as you're getting shot, the lights go off, the alarms go off, and your jammers will actually cut off automatically. So that's probably a good idea. Uh, with this, you can also have the audio play over your car stereo. Uh, to do that, we'll switch over here. And we'll switch it from speaker to HFP. Laser patrol ahead. Let me turn this up a little bit. So now you'll see uh, when I get shot. Pro laser three ahead. It'll actually play over my car stereo, which is pretty nice. I like that. Um, if I'm listening to my stereo, it'll go ahead and uh, cut my music for me, even without the mute switch, which is pretty nice. Uh, I don't have it connected just because I'm not quite sure where to plug it in. But you'll notice it'll go ahead and shut down after a couple seconds. So, if I happen to be listening to some music or something... Okay, and now watch this. If I get shot... Pro Laser 3, ahead! There is a second or two delay for, you know, everything to switch over, at least for my car, to, you know, switch over to the stereo, to bring it up, to start playing and all, so it's not immediate the way it would be otherwise, but it is a way to cut out your music and, uh, you know, get the alerts going that way. And, of course, it is going to be louder than uh, just playing it through your little bitty iPhone speaker, so that's a pretty cool feature there. I do like that. Okay, and then finally we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Hi-Fi module. I've got the control pad mounted right here in my dash, and then of course the external LED is in the same place. So you'll see now uh, when I get shot. Pro Laser 3, ahead. I've got the alert coming through like that. So uh, pretty slick. We'll actually we'll turn it up real quick. Volume, 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 five. Okay, so I've got it set up right there, and that's really easy. Uh, what I like about this is there's no phones to worry about. Um, you just basically, when the alert happens, there's no pop-ups, there's no switching of apps. It's just as soon as you get shot, Pro Laser 3, everything ahead. starts going off. Interference detection only. Oh, then I get it in time. Interference detection only. There we go, I got it fast enough the second time. And I'm not quite getting a good shot. I'm having to, like, you know, bounce it off those buildings in front of me. But anyways, as you can see, all it takes to JTK here in this situation is I just shove my hand over into the corner and I press one of these raised buttons, which makes it pretty easy. I do have some uh, tactile feedback with pressing the button right there. Get it in focus a little bit, that does help. Versus on the phone, when you're, you know, checking your speed, you're looking in the rearview mirror to make sure the guy behind you doesn't slam into you, you're, uh, you know, doing a bunch of things, maybe shutting off your stereo. Um, going over here and finding the right place to push the button, I don't necessarily like that idea. 
Um, on the Android, it is a little bit easier because it pops up the whole entire app and you can just, bam, tap somewhere on the screen, so that makes it easier. So in terms of uh, actually killing the jammers, this is probably going to be the easiest one. Uh, this is maybe going to be like uh, second place. And then definitely third place here is going to be coming uh, the iPhone version just because you're going to have to, you know, press that pop-up to launch the app and then go into the app. And without, you know, somewhere to actually feel for the button, you just kind of have to actually look and take your eyes off the road, off the speedometer and stuff. Um, that's going to get third place in terms of ease of use of actually killing the jammers. So uh, Hi-Fi module, probably still my favorite. Um, especially if you get the mute wire hooked up, so it'll mute your stereo. That's probably the easiest and most reliable way to go. Um, Android is probably going to be coming in second, just because if it can actually do that whole uh, switching app thing and come out of the background, which I really, really like. And then third place is going to be, again, uh, the iPhone, because it does the banner slash pop-up window thing when you get shot. So, cool. There we go. There is a look at uh, the Bluetooth module, which is actually uh, down there. You see it on the ground. Get a little bit dark down there, but that's the Bluetooth module. And uh, the Hi-Fi module, of course, and then the iPhone and Android versions of ALP Connect. So, cool. There we go. Thanks for watching.